Well, welcome to uh, comfort zone in my home. Huh. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I lost 21 pounds, but I didn't lose my gut. Over here we have a, a beautiful painting of Carmel Beach that has sand in it. And a lovely luminosity, a sailboat beating off the coast and Pescadero Point off in the distance. What I really treasure in this room are three paintings in particular. I just love them as works of art. I've spent a lot of time where Van Gogh was at the Asylum of St. Remy. And I always felt it was a very ethereal place, and kind of I could go to church there in the morning and just go out in the field where he would go and paint. And up above is a painting I did for my sister when she was quite ill. And I brought Lord's water down to her. She was angry with Christ. And I said, well, I can't help you when you're, you're angry with Christ. I said, you've got to make your peace first. And I did this painting, and I wrote a song for her called Welcome Jesus Into the Garden of your soul. I had the stars in a very accurate location that were put in very carefully and it's an especially beautiful work of art. Now over here are some of the works that I have in print but another work that is really special to me and I had this in my personal collection for many years is a painting that I did as a homage to Eric Barker. He was poet laureate of the state of California, and a very good friend of mine. would go out on painting picnics. He always called me his mystic friend. I put one of his poems that was used by the National Association for the Blind, though I won't go walk in the dark. There's something in another, I can't quite recall it. But I put the words in a poem, and you can just lightly see them. And again, you have Orion in the sky in that very subtle. It's just a, a beautiful seascape that was I treasured for many years as I did my memories with uh, Eric. <laughs> 